one of the things that every black entrepreneur needs is a community. You and I need a network of other gifted, talented, and ambitious black entrepreneurs. Uh, when we all decide to live the life of an entrepreneur, or, and we make that decision, we're essentially saying that we, we've decided to take um, full responsibility to create and produce all of our own financial and economic opportunities, which is rare in this country. So when you make that decision, you become a rare one and you, you almost start to feel alone. And that's a great quality to have. And you make money doing that. And in fact, that's how all of our businesses are started. But at some point, if we, if we don't learn how to engage with other entrepreneurs, we begin to have a counter effect. We, we, we start working in a silo and we really embrace that, that, that European concept that we see that is so destructive today. It's that rugged individualism. I, I'll go it alone and I'm competing with everybody I see and everybody's a hater and all of this nonsense. And that comes from not engaging in vibrant, energetic communities with other like-minded people. If you notice, if you're an entrepreneur, you find it very difficult to have conversations with people who are not entrepreneurial or someone who's in an employee situation. And again, it's not good or bad. Isn't it? This is no judgment. It's just that the challenges that you face on a daily basis, all of the, the, the emotional roller coaster, the mental <laughs> roller coaster, the ups and downs and the getting smacked in the face <laughs> with a bat. That's sometimes that's how it feels that you know, somebody just taking a two by four or a baseball bat and slapped you in your face. And to go and try to have conversations with people who don't experience that, who don't know what that feel like, it could put you in a lonely position. And so some of us begin to work uh, as solopreneurs. We, we work in isolation. And Again, it begins to have a counter effect because that stunts your growth, that stunts your development, that takes all of the life and energy out of your ideas because you don't have a sounding board. That's how valuable and vital it is to have an entrepreneurial community so that you can engage in conversation, so that you can multiply your learning, so that you can have sounding boards and, and share ideas and receive ideas. And one of the things that you'll learn in the, in the right type of community, here's how you know it's the right type of community. If the community is based upon persons bragging about their successes, that's the wrong type of community. It's okay to talk about successes, but there's a way that it's done in successful entrepreneurial communities. If it's all bragging and one-upping each other, that's not the environment for growth and development. But when you're talking to other entrepreneurs and, and the central conversation that they have is centered around their failures, right? And how they've overcome them, how they've dealt with adversity and how they've taken those lessons and those experiences and now they wanna share them with other members. That's the beautiful part about entrepreneurs uh, successful entrepreneurs that they want to share these lessons and experiences, but they got to be in an environment where it's, where it's received properly. And for those who are receiving it, it is the greatest environment to be in because now you get the greatest education and you get the greatest path to your entrepreneurial success because in that environment, you're learning lessons and shortcuts, things to avoid, things to stay away from, things to head fast into, that's the beauty of an entrepreneurial community, especially for Black entrepreneurs. Well, we're, we've become so competition freaked out and we're competing with everyone that we're, two to three of us are losing when really two to three of us should be winning <laughs> instead of eating each other. And so it's very important that you find an entrepreneurial community to be a part of, especially in this economic time where there's um, so much fear 
and uncertainty. You need to be in a place where you can talk it out. You need to be in a place where you can learn and grow and develop. So move fast to an entrepreneurial community that can help you navigate uh, ref, uh, inflation and recession and all of these different things. Because some of us as entrepreneurs have been through <laughs> some inflation or recessions before. And if not, again, that's that's another thing. You want to be a part of a community where people have had some type of experiences that could help you as you begin to navigate your experience. And here's the best part. You know so much yourself that you add value to that community. That's, that's, that's the other thing. You want to be a giver in an entrepreneurial community and not a taker. And if you go in with the spirit of giving, you're going to receive so much in return, especially if you're in the right environment. So with that said, I just want to say, again, there's nothing wrong with being a solopreneur, nothing wrong by getting your grind on, your hustle on, and doing all of those things to make money. But a word to the wise, it would, it would be smart to find an entrepreneurial community that you can be a part of, a network of other talented, gifted, and ambitious entrepreneurs that can help multiply your growth, your development, and your learning. Now, of course, uh, if I could be of any assistance to help guide you towards a, a community, because I know a lot of different people, I know people with different communities, um, uh, please don't hesitate to set up a time to have a conversation with me to see if I can help guide you to the right community for you. And someone said, well, why would you do that, Brother Bedford? Again, I'm not competition freaked out. I know that there are other brothers and sisters who can help all of us. We all need help and everybody doesn't fit together. And so it doesn't take anything away from anybody to suggest and refer and to guide and to consult each other. Trust me, we're going to need it more than ever in the future. So find you an entrepreneurial community that you can become a part of. This is your brother Bedford. Talk to you soon. Take care.